Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I have a haul video from a yard sale. Now, this is one single yard sale. It's the people down the street. Now, I haven't been to their yard sale since the springtime. They have two yard sales a year, and what they do, they actually go to auctions, estate sales, everything, all the places where I go, and they buy things stockpile them and they have a giant yard sale twice a year so i am able to usually find some pretty good stuff at their sale and their prices are pretty reasonable they also sell on ebay so i'm actually shocked that i can even find anything uh, at their sale but let me start off with this first really fun rotary phone what makes it super fun for me is the color i I don't think I've sold a phone like this in this color. I'm, I could be wrong. However, I've sold at least 20 rotary phones on Etsy over the past few years. So it's one of my favorite things to buy. Super fun. This one is from the 60s probably. Let me double check that. Yes, actually it's from January, February, March, April. <laughs> April of 1960. So usually on the bottoms of these phones, they'll have like a little date code of when they were produced. So very fun. This one is of this green, I wouldn't say avocado green. I would say, I don't know. For some reason, I don't remember what color that is. I thought there was a color. Anyways, it's that traditional like 60s. I think of Brady Bunch whenever I, I see this color. So it's this rotary dial phone. I imagine that it works well. Although there's, I don't have a way to test it. And I don't ever say that these work. I just say that it's likely to work, but it's not tested because there's no reason for them not to work. But honestly, I think people just buy these for the looks of them. A lot of people do. There might be a subset of people who are waiting for the apocalypse. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's some people that use a rotary landline still. But I just noticed something strange and I didn't notice it before. On this handle, the handset, Look at that, there's like this little like wheel. What is that? Oh, it's the volume, duh. But that is the first time I've ever seen that weird. This is Western Electric, by the way. Wow, okay, that's cool. Has a little, so you could turn it up. Very neat. So I don't know offhand what the green ones sell for, the black ones sell for like 40, 50, $60 at the most. Red ones do very well. The blue one, I sold a blue one recently. The blue one sold for like close to $100 with shipping included. The green one, I would venture to guess about 40, 40 or 50 with shipping included, I think. And of course it depends on the condition. Make sure that there's no scratches and the plastic and all of this. This is a pretty good one and I paid, I think, I thought there was a price on it still. I believe it was $8. It's either seven or eight dollars so not a bad price at all for a rotary phone yeah very cool at the sale i also bought two of these hazel atlas milk glass hen on nests they're the little tiny ones here so cute these things sell for like six bucks in good shape without any chips or cracks so they're not a huge money maker but they were a dollar a piece and i just figured you know, if I want to put the pair of them on my Etsy store, then it's worth it for me to list them. Otherwise, I can put them in my booth for like $6 a piece and I should be able to sell them. Uh, however, on these, I think I will go ahead and put these online. So that I just like that there's a pair. It's kind of fun when you got two of something. There would have been a third, but Barb was at the sale with me and I felt guilty because she really wanted one. So I, I gave her one of my hand on nests. I didn't even upsell it. I just said here and she paid the dollar. So I feel proud of myself for that, that I didn't say, well, I'll sell it to you for like three. <laughs> no, but she had the one, so I would have had three. That would have been so nice, wouldn't it have? Let's all pretend that it happened. Three chickens in a row. Mm. Could have had that on my Etsy store. Well, we got the two. So I also bought this native, if I can remember what these things are called, Native American indigenous, um, indigenous, indigenous, in the first people on the continent of North America. Actually, I can't even guarantee that. There, there might, might have been, who knows? I wasn't alive. There could have been. I need to do some research. But these are the people that we stole it from, all right? 
we've got this. Now, here's the thing. I picked this up. I thought it was chalkware. I didn't even bother checking. It's just ceramic. It's redware pottery. So it, redware is anything that's like a brown kind of a terracotta or something like that. But this one is um, not chalk. But it's cool either way. And I will stick this online. Not sure of the value of it. I would hope that it's worth like 20 bucks plus shipping. So maybe around the $30 mark. It's just interesting, isn't it though? And I don't even know what it is. I, I don't have a clue. It's sort of a strange kind of configuration with this shallow vessel, open bottom, and then just such a tall, could it be a planter? I don't know. I'm not actually sure at all. Maybe one of you knows what this is. I don't know why I bought it if I don't know what it is. I think it was, was it a dollar? I, it must have been like a dollar, otherwise why? I think it was a dollar. Um, I did get two things of flatware, so that's always fun. And again, I'm, I'm not sure why they didn't list these because flatware does pretty good online. Even Japan stuff, the stainless steel Japan. So we first have, let me just open it. It's a flatware service for six. So six forks, six cereal spoons, six soup spoons, six butter knives, and one ladle. So this one is, it's kind of like a wheat pattern. Yeah, it's like a wheat pattern. I just sold a wheat pattern. Wasn't this, wasn't like this one? Here, there we go. So yeah, I just sold a wheat pattern and it did pretty good for me. I didn't have it listed very long either. So there's that one. It looks to be in pretty good shape. And this bag, see the problem is they take their little stickers off. I think it was $3 per bag. So this bag of like 24 or whatever, 25 pieces was $3. Now stuff like this, I can usually get about two, about $2 a piece for them. So I would just multiply that. Uh, it's probably a 40 to $50 set of flatware here, give or take, plus the shipping, however that works into it. The other set is actually a 30 piece set, six dinner forks, six cereal spoons, six soup spoons, six teaspoons, and six butter knives. So a true complete set. This one, however, is of a rose pattern. Makes it a little bit harder to sell, I think, because rose patterns aren't the most popular, like, style for one thing for the other thing there are, i to my knowledge i think there's a lot of them out there so it's not you know there's more there's more supply than demand is what i'm trying to say but this is a really nice rose and and the shape is fun this is this says stainless steel japan naturally <laughs> they're pretty much always japan so the thing about the flatware, I can actually figure out who made them by going to replacements.com. It's sort of a tedious product process, but I can just type in rows, stainless steel, and usually within 20 minutes figure it out. But uh, yeah, I gotta figure out the name of that so I can list it correctly online. One fun thing that I got, I think this was a dollar, was so excited to find this Black Panther. It's a little figurine in the redware pottery, again. I was so excited because, well, I've got one back there. I bought that one at an antique mall. It's on the, it's on the amethyst. You can't even really see it. So it's exactly the same thing, but I bought that one at a antique mall for $3. Well, here's this little friend for a dollar. So I had to pick this up. I might hang on to it or I might sell it or I might hang on to it for a while and then sell it. I'm not sure yet. So that was really fun. Ooh, another exciting thing. Now this I am not selling. They had my Hazel Atlas in the Ivy pattern. This is Hazel Atlas. It's a refrigerator dish from the 40s time frame or late 30s, but it's a wonderful eight by four with lid refrigerator dish for $3. So I have one of these already and then I have at least one of the four by four, like tinier square ones, but I, could not pass it up. So really fun. Yeah, I like that a lot. And um, Hazel Atlas, by the way, I think I said that. Okay, I did buy another glass coffee pot, coffee jar. This is pretty heavy. I was thinking about listing it, but I don't know now. This is kind of, maybe I will, maybe I'll list it. 
Uh, it does have a lid. I'm not sure if it's the original. It's a lid though, and we do like a lid. So yeah, it's just a coffee container. We would have had a label right there, and it is made by Hazel Atlas. So very cool, nice glass jar. I paid $6 for it, by the way, and I think I'm gonna sell it for like around 34 or so with shipping included. So yeah, I should do pretty good on that one. I did get a little teacup and saucer. It's a Japan item. It's not marked with the country of origin, but I would have imagined it had a sticker and the sticker is now gone. But yeah, the other, the only other option if it's not marked really is that it's older than 1890, which I doubt. It's just not, it's just not, no. No. This is from the 60s and it would have had a sticker. So yeah, we got this cute little cup and saucer in the uh, bone china stuff. What did I pay? I think it was like $3, or I paid a dollar. I think, I think a, I think a dollar. I don't know, they took all their stickers off. It was either a dollar or no more, no, it was a dollar. So I will put this in my Etsy shop for about $20 with free shipping. Might be a little bit less. I am the most excited or very excited about this find right here. It's one of these babushka nesting dolls, a Russian nesting doll. It's actually the second one that I found within like a month and this was $8. Now this was not from their sale. I wanted to include it, but this was like the only thing that I bought at the uh, at a flea market. So $8, I opened it up and all 10 pieces are in there. So these, one like this would have had 10 pieces. The one I sold before I had nine dolls in it and it sold for I think around $60. I think it was $60 with shipping included, pretty sure. This one is really fun because it is hand painted and it's also burned in wood. So let me show you up close. So all of this here is has been burned in. And then we've got like this gold gilding, hand painted folks right there, playing a little instrument. Just really pretty. I'll open it up, maybe, maybe. No, maybe, oh, I did it, okay. So, are they all the same? I th oh, are they, no they're not. What's this one? Okay, so they're kind of all different. This one's, okay, good enough. This one has like a woman and a child right there. And then this next size is of a woman and a cat or, or something, um, or like a little animal. And then this one is of a, I'm not, I don't know, some guy and a frog. There's like a little frog. And then This is like, this is like a girl studying, I guess. She's in school. And then, then we have a woman shopping. We have like a little log cabin. Looks like a brown duck, or maybe that's a boat. I think that's a boat. I think it's a boat. Then we have a pair of, then we have a pair of mushrooms right there. And the tiniest one is these little, little flowers right there. That's a solid one. Wow, that is outstanding for $8. This one I'm gonna put higher than the other one because the other one did sell like almost instantly. So yeah, I'm gonna go higher for this set. I'm not sure yet on a price yet. I said yet already. 
Now I gotta put them all back in their little houses. Back in their houses, everybody get in there. Oh, that's the wrong size. All right, the last thing in the haul are actually these little pencil sharpeners. I have three of them and they're pretty much the same. They're of globes. There's those two. And then got this one here. So yeah, they're just this, these fun pencil sharpeners. Uh, they were a dollar a piece. I figured they were kind of fun. And they are made in Spain. This one is at least. But yeah, so I'll probably put those online individually for right around $12 with free shipping for each one of those. So all in all, I did pretty good at their sale and I had a great time. So now they'll have their next one in the springtime, if they have it. I don't know, every time I go over there, they say this is the last one. But yeah, they had some great stuff. Really excited about that. And I think there's some pretty good money in these items. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.